This is caught somehow by Corliss. Conti flashed in front, looked like he had a shot at an interception, and somehow it got through to Corliss for a 23 yard completion. It looked like it had to go through the body of Chris Conti because he was in a position to make a play. I don't know how that ball got in there. It looked like it went right through the arms of Chris Conti. Here's Lacey. Eddie Lacey is going to get to the edge for the touchdown. Aaron Rodgers was out there throwing a block. And Eddie Lacey is in for the score. And in case you're wondering, now down by two, Crosby is on the field for the extra point. Well, everybody collapses. You know, they got Eddie Lacy bottled up, but nobody stays home and contains. And we've seen that a lot from the Packers defense. This time, the Bears do the same thing, and the Packers deciding to settle for one. And it's 28 27. Packers have rushed it today for 148 yards. Lacy's got the touchdown, his 11th of the season. Back to a one point game. Eddie Lacy with a touchdown run from six yards out. Jordy Nelson with a 34 yard catch on that 77 yard drive. We'll give you another look at that catch by Corliss that I mean, literally looked like it passed through the body of Conte, the safety, as Crosby will kick it away. Devin Hester from the five, getting a chance to return another. And he delivers a hit of the 25. He's wrapped up at the 26. Well, Chris Conti already has one interception in the first quarter of this ball game, and they don't get a lot easier than what this one would have been. He's in a great position to make a play. He's in man coverage on Andrew Corliss, and he lays out, and it just simply goes right through his arms and looked like off maybe his shoulder pads and. Corliss was able to make the catch. The crowd reacted. They thought it was an easy interception and going the other way. So did I. Corliss has really stepped up for the Packers. And now movement up front from Bushra. False start. Offense number 74. Five yard penalty. Still first down. Remember the Packers lost Jermichael Finley against Cleveland week seven. Corliss has been much better of late. He helped set it up. How about three possessions in this half for Chicago and three touchdowns. Yeah, I think it's worth noting too that Mike McCarthy elected to go for the extra point instead of going for two to tie it with 11 minutes left in the game. Usually in the fourth quarter you go for two. I don't disagree with the decision by McCarthy. Here's Forte on a little screen after the loss of five yards he gets seven Lattimore on the stop by the way. Green Bay 0 for 3 trying two point conversions this season. Some of that when Rodgers was out. Remember the Packers are even in this position because of the work of Eddie Lacy, Matt Flynn and the offense down 26 to 3 at the half a couple of weeks ago in Arlington Texas against Dallas. They came roaring back for a one point win and now here today it's. Whoever wins this game wins the division. Forte kind of throttled down. Williams made the stop. A gain of six, third and short coming up. The Bears started this game out not doing real well on third down. It looks like they've converted their last three third downs, and here they are looking at a third and two to keep this drive alive. Forte with his 20th career. 100 yard rushing day. He's behind Cutler on third and two. The way he's run the ball, I think I'd give it to him here. Crespin gets it to him on a toss. He's got a first down and more. Out to the 45. Instead of between the tackles, it's outside the tackles on a toss from Jay Cutler. Well, good blocking on the outside as you're going to see Eric Weems and Brandon Marshall. They help secure the edge and get Matt Forte out there in space. It's just an excellent job. Kick out by Jermont Bushrod. Just a good execute, a good executed play there by the Chicago Bears. 
And those big receivers for Chicago, Jeffrey and Marshall, not only good at catching it, they can block. And little Eric Weems threw a big block on that conversion. Marshall with a catch. Williams can't bring him down immediately. A gain of seven. Second and three coming up. We welcome in a new audience joining us on this 25 degree night in Chicago. It's been a fantastic game. Green Bay Packers, the Chicago Bears meeting for the first time in the final weekend. A situation where the winner makes it into the playoffs. That's what's on the line. Cutler has complete. That's Wilson. And Marquise Wilson, a rookie out of Washington State, a guy the Bears love, is good for 10. That's only his second catch all year. Yeah, we visited with them on Friday. They were talking about Marquise Wilson getting his opportunity with Earl Bennett not playing in this game. And they liken him to Alshon Jeffrey. I mean, could you imagine if this guy winds up going on and, and being the type of player that they envision him to be? This offense is already dangerous enough. Penalty flag as Jeffrey can't make the connection on the catch. Flag early, and it's against Chicago. Illegal formation, offense. Number 15 was covering the tight end. Five yard penalty, still first down. So it's first and 15, two five yarders on this drive. First one didn't slow him down. Forte has a touchdown. Brandon Marshall, if you're a part of the crowd that just joined us, had an incredible spinning touchdown reception moments ago last time the Bears had it eight minutes to go first and 15 Cutler Forte good play Hawk first time we've said the name of A.J. Hawk today he's the constant in the middle for Green Bay with all the injuries and flux around him a lot of field there too for A.J. Hawk to defense because you're so worried about the big playability by the big wide receivers on the outside that Cutler comes underneath the Forte, but A.J. Hawk played it very well. You see Josh Boyd is back in. Into his hip earlier. He's back in the middle on second and 12. It's Forte. Nothing there initially. Looking for a block. Cutler trying to get in on it. Good play. Tackle is made by Malumba and a loss on the play of five and a big stop on that second down play by the Green Bay defense. Well, huge stop by this defense because they they rally to the ball carrier and they're able to get him to the ground. Andy Malumba this time he stays put. I'm sure they've had some talks with him and others over there on that Packers sideline about staying home and not giving up containment. This time he does just that. Now third down and 17. Timeout taken defensively as Lattimore was late getting off the field. Timeout Green Bay. They only have one left. Whoever wins this game wins the division and hosts a playoff game next weekend. Six and a half to go, fourth quarter. Third and 17 coming up. And here's why they had to call a timeout as Lattimore had to get off the field. So Green Bay with only one remaining. Third and long. Cutler, Jeffrey, downfield, pass incomplete. Coverage by Shields. And a rare stop. Really the only stop defensively for Green Bay in this second half. Yeah, and Alshon Jeffrey had an opportunity on this. You know, it hits him in the hands, and Sam Shields did not get his hand in there. It didn't appear. 
But Jay Cutler on third and long just gives him an opportunity. Sam Shields doing all that he can. You see Jay Cutler sees that you know, he actually could have caught that ball. But nevertheless, the Packers get off the field, Joe. But that timeout, that could prove costly to this Packers team as we go through the next six and a half minutes. Odlish kicks it. Hyde with a fair catch. Bears had had it three previous times in the second half. It scored touchdowns. This time the Packers defense gets a stop. Back to work, Rodgers. Plenty to talk about with regard to week 17 and heading toward wild card weekend next weekend. Down by one. Here's Lacey. Bad ankle and all. Eddie Lacey pushes to the 15. Gain of two. Wooten on the stop. We've only seen Lacey come away limping one time, but he's had three straight weeks where he has tweaked that right ankle. Now he's such a physical runner that you know, he's, he delivers a lot of punishment, but he absorbs a lot of punishment as well. What a rookie year he's had on second and eight. Lacey, as Rodgers finally comes down to him, out across the 20. Fry on the stop. Third and short coming up. Third down and two. Lacey carries, fights, and looks like he's got it. The official came running in from the far side. And if you trust the line in the right foot of the head linesman, he was knocked down right at the marker. And this is going to be inches either way. Ratliff on the tackle. It looked like Lacey right here picked it up. Conte came in. He was in the arms of Ratliff. And then it depends on the spot. Yeah, I thought he got the first down as well. And what an excellent job by Eddie Lacey of keeping his legs going. And this guy is really something special. They are going to be inches short. There's a challenge out there for Mike McCarthy if he wants to go that way. You can see him talking to the headset, say challenge it. And he may throw it out there. He's trying to make that determination. He's getting some advice from upstairs on what he's going to do, whether he's going to challenge it or whether or not he's even maybe going to go for it on fourth down. But take another look at this play by Eddie Lacy and see exactly how far he was able to get because I don't know if there's going to be enough there to overturn it if they challenge it. I agree with you. It looks like they're going to go for it. I remember too if he challenges it and loses it he loses his last time out. Play clock is at three. Get it deep. Get it deep. They get it away and it's Cone for the first down. First down Green Bay John Coon picked it up. You know, they were so late, Mike McCarthy was in deciding whether or not to go for it there on fourth down or challenge the call. He's waiting to hear some from somebody upstairs that they almost didn't get that play off in time. We're going to get a measurement, but clearly he's picked it up, which gives Green Bay a little extra time to make this what should be a first down call. I mean, that's clearly a first down by Kuhn. Well, they were they were fortunate to get it off Joe because not only were they rushed on the play clock and then it, Aaron Rodgers has to get Ryan Taylor the tight end up on the line which took a little time as well. First down Green Bay as they trail by one four and a half left pretty big call there by Mike McCarthy going for it on fourth down backed up on his own end of the field John Kuhn he goes and gets it. But man those those are hard calls to make for these head coaches. On some level it has to come down to the Green Bay defense as well if you're Mike McCarthy. Might as well keep the offense out there. Here's Jones. Cobb delivers a block and Jones out to the 29. 
Gain of six. James Jones. Well, right now, with the difference in the game being one point, Joe, and it goes back to Mike McCarthy deciding with 11 minutes to play to, to kick the extra point as opposed to going for two. A lot of coaches in the fourth quarter would have gone for two at that point. Here's a pass off the hands of James Jones. Now third down and four. So another big third down. Yes. This was there. This was a well-thrown ball by Aaron Rodgers. He protects James Jones on the throw and gives him a chance. James Jones just unable to come up with it. Third down and four. Rodgers is going to lunge for the first down. One of the rare times we've seen him take off his first game back after the broken collarbone. I do think because of that, Joe, he has been reluctant to take off running because he has stayed in the pocket and really tried to allow things to develop as much as possible, sometimes to the detriment of the offense. This time he knew he had to go get it, and he gets it. On first down, Rodgers finds his target, Nelson. As we're coming up on three minutes left, if you go back to going for the extra point of the two-point conversion, two-point conversion, if you make it, you're in a tie game. If you don't get it, it's still just a two-point game. So there's still some question as to whether McCarthy should have gone for it or not. He elected to kick the extra point as Lacey is going to try and fight for the first down. He's about a yard short, maybe a little less. It's certainly a discussion point, Joe. I think early in games through the first three quarters, you always kick the extra point. Too many times you see these coaches go for two, and then that point that you failed to get comes back and haunts you. That's why I said at the time, a little over 11 minutes to play. I didn't disagree with the call. But if this game ends as a 28-27 ball game, it certainly will be brought into question. Now third down and one. You got to think they've got two downs to get a yard. Toss to Lacey. And Eddie Lacey is not going to get it. Lance Briggs on the stop. And that should carry us to the two-minute warning. We'll take a break. It'll be fourth down when we come back. Packers with the ball down by one. Right now, this game rides on a fourth and one call. They've converted once on this drive on fourth down. They're seven of 11 on the season. And he hoped the Packers have. Winning this game in the division right now comes down to this play. is caught by Jordy Nelson. They put in the right hand of Aaron Rodgers and he put it right into the lap of number 87. Well, they, hey, the game's on the line right here. You come to your guy leading the team in receptions this season and that's not an easy play to make. Not an easy throw. Jordy Nelson, sure-handed, makes a key catch. And now a whistle stop play before the snap on first down. I think they're going to take another look at it, maybe, Joe, but I don't know if there was any movement before the snap or not. Let's take another look. Looked like a clean catch. The officials gather at the Bear 45. Meanwhile, think about where the Green Bay Packers' fate may lie, and it may rest right on the right foot of Mason Crosby. There was a practice football that came onto the field. So we, was, we set the play clock to 40 seconds and the game clock to 1 minute 35 seconds. 135. That guy, number two, Mason Crosby, was under fire all last year. He had an NFL low 64% on field goal attempts and field goals made last year. He took a pay cut to $840,000 with incentives to get back to his original salary. He's had a big comeback here. He's getting ready. Rodgers wasn't ready for the snap. Somehow caught it. 
And the pass is incomplete for Corliss. But that play started dangerously for Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. He was not looking for the snap, but it went right into his right arm. Uh, yeah, that's right, and if it had not have been snapped where it was, then that ball's behind him, because he was not ready. This was another example, though, Joe. It looked to me like Aaron Rodgers, in most circumstances, he would have kept the ball and ran. There was a lot of field open for him if he had elected to take it. Instead, Corliss slipped. And it's second and ten. Handoff is to Lacey. And Eddie Lacey, not much. Over the right side gets two. Now, this Bears defense has really tightened up against Eddie Lacey. There has not been a lot of places for him to go with the football here on the last few carries. Third down and eight. One time I left for Green Bay. Rodgers pass is incomplete behind Jordy Nelson. And now it's fourth down again. The Packers got away, or the Bears got away with one. They completely turned James Jones loose. The corner thinks he has help. He's man to man. James Jones wide open up that left sidelines. Aaron Rodgers just not working that way. And a ball that got behind Jordy Nelson, unable to make the catch. 15th play of the drive with a game hanging on it on fourth and eight. Blitz. Rogers gets out. Floats it. Cobb. Touchdown. Second of the game. Joe, the defensive backs sit at the markers for the first down. They're not anticipating that the Packers are going to try to go down the field. Chris Conti, you see it, he's jumping. He settles right at the first down marker, and Randall Cobb goes right by him. Give Aaron Rodgers some credit. He has Julius Peppers right in his lap. He's able to make him miss. And then finds Randall Cobb down the field. Big play for the Packers. Huge on fourth down. And now they'll go for two. They're going to go for two here and try to make this a seven-point game. Cobb, two catches, two touchdowns. But there's time left. You do right. No, Lucy, two timeouts Lucy. for Chicago. Lucy, Lucy, got it, go. Packers haven't converted a two-point conversion this season. Pass is batted into the arm of Rodgers, who still had it alive but dropped it. Pass got up and blocked the pass. Randall Cobb, welcome back. Welcome back, Aaron Rodgers. Pack on top by five. Aerial coverage provided by Nationwide Insurance. There have been five lead changes in this game. And now Green Bay is back on top by five points. Randall Cobb missed 10 games. He's had two catches today, both for touchdowns. And now it's on Jay Cutler. And the Bears offense. First it's Hester. And it gives him a chance out near the 40. 31 seconds left with two timeouts. Look at the job that John Kuhn does coming over to help get enough, just enough of Julius Peppers off the edge and Aaron Rodgers then able to buy a little bit of time. Now on the back end, Chris Conti, as I said, he sits on the first down marker thinking that they're going to throw the ball short. They also could have gotten major right for pass interference on Jordy Nelson, but Cobb gets in behind it. And I got to tell you, Joe, that is not an easy throw. For Aaron Rodgers moving to his left, a lot of good things on that play that had to happen for the Packers to come away with a touchdown. On first down, Cutler. He's going to throw and complete to Martellus Bennett, and they'll spend a timeout. They've got one left, 22 seconds left. There is still time remaining, but the Bears have to get it into the end zone. Well, one timeout remaining, and so they can still get the ball underneath. They're, they're going to have a shot into this end zone. So everybody can 
sit on the edge of their seat and watch the finish on this one. How about that drive by Green Bay 15 play 87 yard drive. They get 48 yards on a fourth and eight play and they converted three fourth downs on that drive. Pretty good. They had to make plays and they got the ball to the guys who make the plays that being Jordy Nelson. Randall Cobb good to have him back and then of course the job that Aaron Rodgers does delivering the football 24 seconds left. Cutler steps up no pressure end zone pass is batted away for Jeffrey Burnett got over and knocked it away 16 seconds left with a timeout. Not so sure I wouldn't come back with that play again they, they got, they've got time to run it a couple more times. You know rather than come underneath and then just try to take maybe one more shot into the end zone but these receivers are so dangerous because of their length and their ability to go up for the football both Alshon Jeffrey Brandon Marshall and then as we talked about a little bit earlier Marquise Wilson who's also six four Ready up. on second down Cutler is going to come underneath and Marshall dropped it. Had it in his chest, could not complete the catch. Now it's third down, and 10 seconds remain for Chicago. You know, with this throw right here to Brandon Marshall, he runs the deep dig route and has a chance to make a play on that. And probably wasn't going to go much further, even if he had made the play. But if they had got that kind of yardage, they would have been able to run a more designed play into the end zone. Division riding. This possession now for Chicago. Everybody back deep in the secondary for Green Bay as Cutler buys time. This could be it. Cutler is going to air it out for the end zone in the direction of Marshall. It's picked off by Shields. Green Bay wins the North. his quarterback back after missing seven starts he gets his slot man back and Randall Cobb after missing ten Tressman and McCarthy come together in midfield Cutler is now one and eight in his career with Chicago against Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers is ten and three against Chicago while with the Packers He's won an NFC championship game here at Soldier Field and now this week 17 game to win the NFC North. It started off a little shaky for this man right here number 12 Aaron Rodgers but man down the stretch when he had to make the plays he made them.